nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, so I changed my mask and now I'm more, more comfortable. Very important to be comfortable when you play. So, uh, let's begin here. What can I do here? And where is the problem here on the table? The six is the problem. So I need to go from the five to the six there. And the four is over here. So I need to play position. Make the four in the corner, play position like that. One rail, two rails, come there for the five. So that's what I have planned. And now I just need to have a, need to play position from the one to the two. The two is there. And then from the two, I need to draw back the cue ball. I, I must draw back the cue ball above the three because if I have this kind of angle on the three, the cue ball will go all the way there. And then I don't have position on the four. So very important that the cue ball is above the three here. Either here or there. So these are tough shots here from the two to the three. Uh, so a very critical shot that you, you are able to draw back the two ball to the three there. So uh, I, I just don't, I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. It's, it can be, you can mess up very easily on, on this shot. So I, I will attempt to play position from the one ball to the two. And uh, I need to play left-handed, a left-handed draw shot on the two, and I don't like that. That's a very tough shot. So, this is the toughest shot of the rack right here. It doesn't look like way, that way, but it is very tough. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to play, I, I will attempt to play position somewhere here, okay? Then I can slow roll it, top left spin, come up here for the three ball. So that's, that's my only chance right, hand, right now. And so I will just try to stop the cue ball somewhere in, in this area, okay? Top right spin. There, that seems to be very good. Just a little short, just a little short. I would be, I'd like to be there. I'm a little short. And because I'm a little short, I need to play left-handed here. Left-handed. And now this, this is the critical, critical shot here of, of, the, of the rack here. Drawing back with low left spin and I, I, I try to stay above the three ball. I many makes the mistake of coming too short. Then they need to cut in the three ball and the cue ball will travel all the way here and you don't want that. Very tough shot now. Very tough shot. And, uh, I would cheat the pocket a little bit. I would hit the point, the left side of the pocket there, I would hit. Just to cheat the pocket to enable me to shoot it, shoot it fuller. Okay, so low left spin. Okay, yeah, that was a critical shot and I think I made it. I think I barely made that. Yep, now I have a good shot on the, on the three. So I can just make a stop shot here. Make a stop shot. Stop shot, low, 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 little, uh, one hair of uh, right spin, low right spin, there, now I have a cut angle on, on the four ball, so I will just hit the rail there, there, and then hit the rail there and come out a little bit there, so top left spin, top left spin, that is pretty good, a little too hard. I shot that a little too hard there. Now I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble here because now I need to go back and forth with the cue ball. I need to go all the way here and then I need to barely miss the temple there. And then go this way. Just very, very tight, very tight uh, position play. And I would like that. I would prefer maybe to make the bank shot instead, but uh, on the bank shot, I need to play good. I need to play good position for the bank shot anyway, so I might as well go for this shot. Okay, I will go back and forth, barely avoiding the ten ball, and I need to shoot left-handed. So top left spin. There, oof, barely avoided there, and I, I think I'm going to hit the. 
six. Ooh, I, I shot it too soft. I shot it too soft. Now, this is a 3D shot here because, uh, let's see, yeah. I might need to make a safety here. Just hit the six very thin, go around the table, one, two, three rails, four rails behind the ten. So I, I'm gonna do that, just clip it a little bit. Very, very thin, right spin. Right spin there. Oh, nah, that is very nice. That is very nice there. Oh, hi, hi, she is snookered. That, is, that was a very nice shot. And if the six ball would have gone too, too, too far out from the rail, he, he wouldn't be able to make the six in the corner anyway, because the seven is in the way. So now it is the opponent's shot. And here, here you can make the six in the corner there. So uh, let's look at what would happen if I, if, if, I miss, if I miss the six in the corner, what would happen with the cue ball and what would happen with the six ball. I hit it there, cue ball will travel here, six ball might hit the rail there, 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 and come here, okay, if I miss the six. So use, it with, use enough speed to enable that possibility, okay. That's, here I will use left spin, important to use left spin because it will, it will throw the six. With left spin it will throw the six towards the pocket, okay? Otherwise the six will go that, that path if you don't use any side spin. But if you use left spin, the six ball will, will be thrown to that direction and the cue ball will slow down as well. So the cue ball will want to stay on this side of the table. If you use the... Uh, if you use left, left spin. Okay, so a lot of left spin on this shot. Little low also. Low left spin. Just a half a tip of draw on this shot, but a lot of left spin. Way! That was close, that was pretty close. And you see the cue ball stayed on the other side of the table, makes it tougher for the opponent. So I'm gonna do it again. You see how much it threw, the cue ball threw the six so, so high up there. I will do it again. I'll try to miss it this time, okay? Just try to miss it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was supposed to miss that shot. So at least now you see what would happen if you make the shot. You get position on the seven. This time, this time I'm going to miss the shot. I want to go four rails. Four rails safety is what I want. So miss the shot. There you go. Four rails come up here. Yeah, that is, that is okay, really. So you can see, that is what will happen if you miss the shot. You need to play with the correct speed to enable that possibility. Because if I had shot softer, the six ball would have ended up somewhere in the center of the table and the opponent would, would get an easy shot. But because I used the correct speed, I enabled a possibility. Okay, this is a possibility getting safety, a re-safety. And I will show it again. This is a very, very fun, very fun to do this. Low left spin. One, two, three, yes, start here. Yeah? Tough for the opponent, but I can do it, I can do even better than that. So many pros, they attempt this safety, but they, they call that pocket just in case it will go in, but they don't plan for it. They, they plan to make this kind of safety that I'm doing right now, with the one, two, three, four rails uh, for, for the six ball. I'll do it again. One, two, perfect. There you go, three. 
Yeah, that's very nice. That's a very nice safety there. But uh, you can do it even better than that. You can do it better. I will do it a little better this time. Okay. Little better. Low left spin. Whoops, I hit it on the wrong side there. I can do it even better than that. Okay, low left spin. Oh, now I hit it too full. I hit it too full. What will happen here? Yeah, tough shot. I will do it again. So. I need to focus, I'm, I'm playing very sloppy here. Low left spin. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I hit it on the on the wrong side of the of the corner. I will do it again. I will do it again. Okay, I, I show you the variations of what will happen on this shot. <laughs> and that is the variation that can happen there on this cue. So chop the cue. Look at the look at the tip. I, I can't see much with this mask on. Look at the tip and chalk the empty empty spot. Here, low left speed. There you go. That is that is perfect. That's a re safety right there. Very tough for the opponent there, you see. The, op the opponent can't make the bank shot because the seven is in the way. That was a great, great re-safety. You couldn't really make it get behind the 10. It would be too risky to shoot so hard. But that's a very good, very good strategy there. And how are you going to make a safety here? Very difficult. Extremely difficult to do that. And you can, you can of course just, uh, you, you, you could make a bank shot, let the six ball stop somewhere here. And hopefully the, the cue ball will go behind the nine, but that's very difficult. And what you would like to do here is that you will hit the six ball on, on, on the right side. On the right side, go one, two, three rails with the cue ball. Stop somewhere in this area, because the eight is in the way, nine is in the way. So I'm going to do that, and even if the six will stop in front of the corner, there's a big chance that he will get snookered here. So I'm going to do that. So here I will use, uh, I think the six is just going to go behind the nine there, so I'm focusing on that. Uh, top right spin. There, behind the nine, that went out a little too far, but safety. Ah, that's, that's a safety there. That's a safety right there. This, this video was about safeties. I haven't, I haven't done this before in a video. It was safeties here, only safeties now. So here, what I will do? What will I do here? A re-safety. Ah, I can see that, I can see it, I can see it right now. You can make a shot. Uh, you can attempt to go for this shot. You can attempt one rail, one rail kick shot. Make the six in the side. If you miss, the six ball might stop here behind the eight, and the cue ball will be here. Okay. So I, I will attempt for that. I will attempt to make it and make a safety at the same time. So I will call this pocket. Shoot soft, top right speed. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Almost. Opponent got a very tough shot. Yeah, I, I can't see the, the six ball so good that I can make it in a corner. So I need to make a safety. I need to make a safety here. So what will I do? The norm, normal safety here is one, two, three, four, five rails for the six, but the seven is in the way. So that is quite risky. And uh, very risky there. And uh, it is possible if, if the six ball will travel one, two, three, and go this, this path, hit the rail there, go behind the, the ten ball. And that's possible. So that's, that's a possibility as well. So I think I'm going to just 
try for that. Okay, I just hit it, hit the six full, just barely avoiding the, the corner. Yeah, I will do that. And what what if the, the six will go in the side? It is possible, very unlikely, but possible. So I'm going to call. I will call this side pocket. I will, I will try to make. In case the six goes in, I will call this pocket. But I'm quite sure that the six ball will take this pass. Okay, so I use. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm going to use a little bit of in, inside spin, inside spin, and draw. So low left spin. Ah. Oh, so close to the side pocket, you saw that. That's a very good safety there. And the opponent is snookered. That's a nice safety. That's a nice safety. And you see that it went very close to the side pocket, so I, I called this pocket, but I wasn't uh, shooting on making it into this pocket. I just called this, called this pocket just in case it would go in. But I, I, was, going, I was shooting on this safety. That is what I meant. Uh, now I'm snookered. Uh, what kind of re safety can I do? Should I call a pocket here or not? So this is a very tough, very tough shot. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can what I can do here. Ah, uh, very tough shot here. Very tough. This is a very. I I I. I can't make it here. Can I make it here in the corner here? Maybe. I think. Uh, yeah. I think I. I can. I can make it here in, in the in the corner. Okay. So I'll call this pocket. And when I hit the rail there, I look where the, I look where I hit the rail. I hit it there, and then. Then if I if the six goes in this direction, the cue ball will will end up going somewhere there. Or maybe here, or maybe behind the A. So many, many good things can happen with the cue ball. If I hit the hit the six ball on on this side, the six ball will go there. Cue ball will go here. Maybe uh, you get snookered. Maybe you can make a safety behind the nine or the ten or the eight there, and the six ball goes there. And if the six six goes stops somewhere here, he can't make it in the corner because the seven is in the way. So this is a pretty good, pretty good. Uh, plan for this safety and I'm going to call this pocket in case it will go in but I'm not uh, I'm not shooting for it I'm, I'm shooting for a safety here and I will use enough speed that the cue ball will will end up somewhere in this area okay so here I just use a soft roll and little top spin little left little top spin little left spin Whoops, that was a bit quite quite soft, that was very soft. That was very soft. And you see that what can happen if you fail with the speed control that if you don't hit any rail, then the opponent will get ball in hand. So I'm gonna shoot a little harder this time. Harder. Something like that. Yeah, that this time I did not leave the opponent uh, a tough shot. So I will show you show you another alternative. I, I will show you what, what can happen. What else can happen on this shot? Something like that. Yeah, you see that the cue ball is going towards the egg. And now the opponent has a tough shot here. You see that? Now I, I really succeeded on that shot. And I'm going to do it again. So you, so you see all, all the variables, all the variations. Something like that, uh, yeah. That is pretty good. Opponent doesn't have a good shot. And you see that because the eight is there, seven is there, you are able to get lucky with the safety. You are able to get lucky. I will do it again. Whoops, now I hit it uh, way too thin. I could have called the side pocket there, but more likely that the six will go in, in the corner. So I'll do it again. 
uh, something like that. You see, he can't make it in, in the corner here, and uh, this is a tough shot to the opponent. So I will do it again. I will show you what, what else can happen on this shot. Ah, uh, yeah, now I hit it to, to full, and the six can go above the seven there. So, most of the times I'm leaving the opponent a tough shot here, but not every time. And this, this, is, this, is, this is very good since this is a safety already from, from the opponent, so this is a very good. Uh, it is very good that I can leave the opponent as safety after being snookered myself. And now, now you see what happens if I hit the 6 on the wrong side. You don't want to hit the 6 on the, on the wrong side there. How much recording do I have? Ah, I'm halfway through. And half the amount of balls left. So here, very important you hit the six on, on this left side here, on that side, because then the cue ball will travel here and you, you can get a safety and the six ball will travel here, close to, to that rail. So I'm, I will do it again. Oh, I hit it too thin and I made the shot. That is not something I wanted, okay? You, you, you should not pay for that. If, if you make a kick shot and, and, and attempt a very thin cut, then, then it is not good because more, most often you will just miss the ball and leave the opponent a ball in hand. So when you, when you make a kick shot, you want to hit it full. Try to hit it as full as possible. So you want to call that pocket the corner instead of the side pocket. Because then you make sure that you will hit the ball. Like that, that's very really nice. That is just perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. Two ball behind the eight, six ball behind the seven. That's a great re-safety right there. That's a great re-safety. Oh, I can't see the six at all. Now I need to go to that rail with a lot of left spin. Left spin. I, I will try to just hit the six very thin, move it behind the seven, the cue ball comes out here. Okay. Lot of left spin. Something like that. Oh, that is perfect. That's just perfect. Oh, what a safety. I can't see the six at all right now. So now I'll just try it again. I'll, I'll hit the rail there, there, hit the, hit the six thin, very thin. So top left spin. Uh, let's see what will happen. Oh, that's pretty good. And now this is a tough shot. Uh, and you can't really do much with this. You can hit it very thin, very soft and thin and let the, let the six and seven be stuck together that is the only thing you can do here and then use the last left spin to go behind the ten that is something i will do just hit it very soft don't go too far don't go too far out so it's available perfect snooker now the opponent has had a very tough shot here i i, I can't see the the six ball so here what I want to do is I'll make a kick shot. Hit the, hit the rail here and make the seven in, into the corner with a lot of right spin. A lot of right spin on this shot. And shoot the six hard enough so that if, if you are lucky, the six will end up snookered behind the eight. Okay? So a lot of right spin on this shot. Oh, I made it! I made a seven! Oof, yeah! That's very really nice! And now I have a bank shot, and now I think I'll just go for it, okay? Because I will use... No, no, I will go two rails. Two rails bank shot into the side. Because I go one rail, two rails, there. And if I miss the shot, the six ball will end up behind the eight. 
okay? And I've done this many times in a tournament. Two rails back shot. And make a stop shot here, let the cue ball stop somewhere here, and with speed, play this shot with speed. So if you miss the two rails back shot, the cue ball will just stop here behind the, the, the six, behind the eight ball. So low left spin. One, two, and with speed, yeah. That's, it, that's okay. Now the opponent doesn't have a good shot here because the nine is in the way. And uh, that's, that's why I planned, uh, played that bank shot because the nine was there, the eight was there. So a big chance of uh, get, getting away with that shot. Now I have a long bank, long combination. So I just need to go for it. I don't have a choice. I need to go for this bank shot, this combination. So low, low right spin, mostly uh, draw, just just a hair of right spin. Yeah, and I made it. Yeah, that's still a tough shot. And uh, here I just use uh, low right spin. Come, come there somewhere straight in on, on the eight. Now just feel, now I can just make a stop shot, just a simple stop shot. Draw there. You see, I hit the point here on the way in, and because I used the pocket speed. And now the final shot, just a draw there. The game is over. I like this mask better than a Deadpool mask. Very comfortable. I can't see, uh, I can't see much at all, but uh, I play much better with this mask because I'm comfortable with it, okay? So, is the camera still on? I can't, I can't see the camera. Okay, so this is the end of the, end of the video. Until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.